We are here once again for the semifinals of the Geekery Super Sunday series. Wyatt just moved the microphone closer to me. Uh, there's a little spike in the audio you guys might pick up. Taryn on our left is playing, uh, I guess, Gruel Obosh, but he's not playing. Ponza. He's Ponza now. He doesn't have the Obosh in the pin slot. Red Green Ponza. Yep. And then we got uh, Aaron on the right playing Eldrazi Tron again. And uh, the, the Ponza deck, I think, is uh, relatively strong. So, I mean, yeah, here's a continual armor elf. Well, he's got a, he's got a one lander, <laughs> uh, but he's also got seven mana right now. So that's uh, that's pretty above average, I would say. Like, if Taryn can't do something silly with seven mana, I'm not sure why he's playing this deck. I guess that's fair. Yeah. yeah. So here comes a fetch. Here comes a or... think about my hand and unfetch. Here comes a refetch. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, dude. There's a lot of moving parts. So it looks like he's looking at a Sea Todd in his hand, a Chandra Torch of Defiance, or he went home. And I don't know what else he has, but the Chandra, why did he fetch to get a tap land? I mean, I guess it's, yeah, he doesn't need seven mana. I mean, if you're going to play a Chandra, you could probably up to, to to see another card. You could also play the Chandra plus to get more mana. You could have nine mana this turn. Yeah, you could. So you go from you have seven to, to four, so you have five to spend after you play Chandra. Yeah. yeah. So you, you could go like Chandra Bloodbraid. <laughs> That'd be pretty that, that would be a very good turn three, yeah. <laughs> so Chandra, uh, yeah, that's what exactly yeah. what he did. That is... That is so good. Is oh my good god, that is so good. And that's a cloth as <laughs> Oh my god. This is a turn. Yeah. I, and that, the cloth is turned on too. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. He has nine. He has nine yeah. devotion on turn three. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. I mean, Aaron has turn three drawn. Oh, if, so, like. Well, if Aaron can just all casually make everything into dust, <laughs> yeah, then it's very, very good. I think the game ends if all of his dust is played. Yeah. Taryn has two mana and no boards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all is dust. Here we come. One time. No. Nope. Okay, all right, Karn. Go get. So that Karn's not great here. The Karn is going to immediately get killed. Yeah, so you get a three drop, or you get something that answers the board. I mean, there's a Skyship Sky Ship. Sovereign. Yeah, that's it's fine. fine. Yeah. I don't know if it, I think it bolts a thing, kills a Bloodbraid Elf. It, yeah, yeah. There's a map, crack the map with the floating mana. And go then go get, get a it. tower, maybe? Just because you need... Aaron really needs to have a big turn next turn, <gasps> because Taryn had an absolutely insane turn. I've never you seen really it. need to draw an all his dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should really do that if you can. Or Oblivion Stone. I don't know what the decks are running anymore. Yeah. If Taryn can slam a uh, a Blood Moon here, I think the game is officially ends, out of yeah. reach. Yeah. So Clothis is going to drain him for two. Clothis is. I think that guy has a lot of text. Honestly, he does. Well, I think his I, death threat. I, I think it's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Up on Chandra, revealing a blood braid elf. Oh. How convenient. <laughs> Just kind of casually yeah. cast that real quick. Here comes that into a Magus of the Moon. That's a pillage. Oh, it's a pillage of the moon. <laughs> it's not of the moon, it's I'm a pillage. I'm pretty sure it's of the moon. This is a tag for 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. Yeah, and Aaron lost Tron. And then here comes a seasoned pyromancer. What an insane turn. Uh huh. What an absolute. Oh my god. And he just drew it immediately. What an absolute master! Oh, it just didn't matter though. Yeah, yeah, it didn't have all of those. But he did do it. All right, so that's that was a pretty uh, decisive game one. Players are back after sideboards. Uh, looks like Taren has gone down to six, putting one on the bottom. And Aaron, Aaron got to keep map. seven. Yeah, I mean, turbo map is probably one of your better plays, especially off of a Tron land. Yeah. Or I guess Temple Temple, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> one of those two in each on. Taryn is playing a, what's that guy, Wooded Foothills? Wooded Footies? W woody Footy, going for a fetch here. Picking up a big think, big thinks for Taryn. I mean, I'm glad, so we always, we do this and we, we watch them in double speed, and it reminds me that magic is so slow. <laughs> like, especially modern magic, because you have to fetch every 30 seconds, and then think about what you're going to fetch every 30 seconds. Oh Taryn is really in the tank about what to fetch. Are you just... Well, there's a weird tension between needing... A, a double colored land and wanting to cast a blood moon in a few turns. So he's just going to get a basic forest here. Yeah, it's fine. And here comes the Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, well, here's a ghost quarter on the Sprawl land. Whoa, that's pretty whoa, whoa, good. Oh, that's very good. Uh, Taryn is electing not to search. Yeah, does he have all. How many decks? I feel like this deck probably has a lot of basics, right? I, I, I would guess it does, yes. I would. I would. Yeah, it absolutely does. Yeah, I feel like it, you can't not run. Did, 
he just did so Tyrion has two lands in play. Did he play one from the top of his library? Did he like I don't know how that happened. Did they did they pass I'm, the turn? I'm quickly? lost all of a sudden in this game. I'm a little unsure what happened there, but Well Aaron has Tron. So here's a Karn. You can go get a Lick Metal Coating and turn off Terran's lands for the rest of the game. Yeah. So this game is over? Yeah. Yeah, so Aaron? Didn't do it. Chose to, I mean, it just yeah, didn't okay, matter. Yeah, okay, right. It didn't matter. Didn't do it, didn't matter. I, that was weird. <laughs> for game three, Terran is on the play. Uh, did he win game one? Yes. He was on game play three, game two. One. One. Hmm. I thought I was on the play in game two. I might be no, misremembering. So. All right, good. <laughs> I'm glad I said that. Aaron's out loud. leading off on Tronland. Yeah. Is he uh, on the Tron? led off with a bench for a mm, his play. So this is kind of a. I was gonna say it's weird on turn two, but this is kind of a slow start. Terran likes to play a turn two Blood Moon or something crazy a lot. No. I think I that's, mean, that's just what the deck does. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. A I think the thing. goal of the deck is to turn two pillage, turn two Blood Moon. Yep. It's funny how that'll just put you out of the game. Some some decks, yeah. Oh, here comes a stomp you. All that Clovis. That's fine. Terran is going turbo aggro, I would guess. I mean, he's a matter shaper. Matter shaper. I like the guy who puts the brakes yeah, on yeah. Terran pretty nicely. He stops most creatures. <laughs> Exile on that land, getting a mana. And there's Glory There's a Glory Bringer. Bringer. What do you say over there? You... It's tough to block that with a yeah. non-flying creature. Do you exert on that, you think? I don't think you want to give him the land or the card, even. Just let him have a 3-2? Yeah. I think you're right. I think Terran's right, too. That's what he did. <laughs> I think you're just fine taking three damage and you're attacking for four or five. Yeah. Was Glory Bringer four four? Four five five? Four, 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 four. Yeah. It, it'll, it'll end the game pretty quickly. And this Clothis is going to start doing some things. Nothing in graveyards yet. Here's a thought not. I guess you'd rather exert on this. Is it a boulder or Clothis? Yeah. Uh, Clothis means nothing now. Or yeah. a second Clothis means nothing. Yep. Exerting on this thought not is pretty attractive though. Yes. I would like to draw your card here. Yep. Well, also killing is four four. Also, 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 also. <laughs> Also, four other things, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot <laughs> upside. All right, so here comes it's a Magus of the Moon. That's, fine. That's a pretty good start, yeah. honestly. Floating some mana. Is he uh, Ghost Quarter himself? Ghost himself to get a waste. So it seems that Aaron, previously I thought he was just very unconcerned about Blood Moons. It just seems he just d draws wastes aggressively. Yeah, right. so he this never time he just didn't happen yeah, to he's, him. He's yeah, he's demonstrating that he knows that Blood Moon is bad for him, but like just draws the wastes a lot, I guess. I guess the deck only has eight cards. 12 cards, and it slowly went up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to see an exert. There we are. Yep, so draw a card. Terry's going to draw his card. Play a land, get in for four. Alright. Aaron drew Karn the Great Creator. Karn the Great Creator is one of those cards. It's amazing when you're ahead. When you're behind, it literally, it's just like a terrible can't do tutor. Much, yeah. yeah. It's a terrible tutor, and you don't get to have a sideboard. It just, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of costs associated with that card. Uh, attack for three. Yeah, I don't... Uh, uh, I mean... I, this Clothis is almost on. Yeah, it is. I, well, One, he's, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I don't know. The the Glory Bringer's taking a turn off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess maybe so. you can get in for I guess you have here. one turn. Like, all of this still ends the game. <laughs> Ooh, spatial contortion. So also, now... when I played this deck, at any point, all is dust definitively ended the game. <laughs> I don't know why they play two. Like, I would, I would might cheat up one more. Yeah. Like, it's definitely, Ugin the Ineffable is fine, but it's a six drop. And, like, all is dust, number one, you can cast it with all Drowsy Lands. Yes. Number two, it instantly wins the game. Yes. So I just, like, <laughs> maybe try one out is all I'm saying. Yeah, if you happen to have anything. Yep, so Reshaper into a uh, Liquid Metal Coating. Look, Mono Coding is quite anemic here, but you know what? It's a permanent, and he cast it. He he's doesn't getting out do there. anything, sadly. He, he has... He can turn a thing into an artifact. Getting closer to the city's blessing. I... Oh, <laughs> yes. Glorybringer has flying. Yeah, none of this matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Clothes wins the next turn unless he can answer it. Yeah, Clothes is crazy, how it just is so inevitable. I think that's what Deathrite Shaman was in every format I ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Terran is electing not to send in... The Bone Crusher Dragon, because he doesn't want to give his opponent the out of having those matter reshapers to add. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, how much devotion does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, that's going to be the game. Those Nux will end it. 